myself. My name is Julie and I'm 22 years old. I currently live in Seoul and attending Korea University studying political science and international relations with a double major in international studies with a focus in international business. I've also been a content creator for three years now. I've also started modeling as of August of last year. Questions, questions, questions. A lot has happened since I posted my last Q&A, so I thought we would do a little updated version as well as my updated everyday makeup routine. I already did my skincare, so we're just gonna go straight into our makeup. First, I'm going to prep my lips with this Laneige sleeping mask. For the winter, I've been going for a very dewy, natural, glowy look. For foundation, I use this one from Lancome. This is their original matte foundation, and then this is their new glowy version. Today, we're gonna go for the glowy one. Just one pump is fine. We're gonna go in with a very, very thin layer. And the coverage is very buildable, which I love. And then, with a brush, I'm gonna try to blend outwards. For spot concealing, I'm gonna use this concealer from Makeup Forever. It is full coverage, and I really just need the smallest bit. My inner corners, any bit of redness that I might have. And I go in with a pressed powder and put the powder on the brush. This makes the concealer last the whole day. So these are for the parts that I want to conceal, like imperfections. And then for the parts that I want to highlight, like my inner corners and underneath my nose, I just use a brush to blend it out. Now we have a clean base to work with. Now we're gonna be moving on to blush and I'm gonna be using my favorite NARS Orgasm. I've been using this for five, six years. I actually stopped smiling when I put on my blush. I just straight face and put it on the highest points of my cheeks. Most important lesson you've learned in 2023. I think it's all about your vibes and the energy that you exude, your mindset and your attitude. I genuinely believe that when you put out love and just good energy into the world, that's what you get back. And the energy you have, it affects everyone around you and most importantly yourself. I think storytelling is really important for yourself. It's like the way that you comprehend and make sense of your own life to yourself that shapes everything like if you believe that everything is going to work out for you things do quickly putting on perfume and another really important thing is humor like not taking things too seriously and whenever you face a hardship in your life the ability to just laugh it off because ultimately we're just like little ants in this world and there's more important things in this world not in like an invalidating way in a way that's like the world is really big and this is just like a little hiccup in a thing called life i'm using this bronzer to carve out my jawline how to deal with rejection how do you cope when your plans don't go your way there are things that i can't control but within the things that I can control, as long as I've tried my best, I don't really take it personally. I think I've just become more detached to the results. You know, I'm just like, you know, like I learned in the process and it is what it is. I also deal with a lot of rejection as a model now. And in the beginning, I was like, am I not pretty enough? Am I not tall enough? I've learned to just tell myself I'm just not the right fit for that brand. And even if that were to be true, that I, I weren't pretty, enough i mean like who cares you know the ups and downs in your life may not make sense to you right now in this exact moment but months later in the future when you look back they definitely make sense you can definitely connect the dots and understand because we got rejected for a we got the opportunity of b now we will be doing some nose contour using you in. i start with my brow bone and then i just go down my nose bridge and then do this blend. Now let's do our eyebrows. My brow shape has changed a lot over the years, but I think I'm pretty settled with this shape now. I'm gonna use this hard formula pencil from Shu Uemura. I'm just gonna start with the arch and the tail. 
blend a lot. Next question, what are your motivations and goals for 2024? Keep doing what I'm doing now, but just be more consistent. I really want to focus on getting out of my comfort zone more. I think there is a lot of pressure, especially in the beginning of the year, to set all these ambitious, grandiose goals, but we have to acknowledge all that we've done already before moving on to setting new goals. And then with the brows, I'm gonna keep these in place with a clear mascara. My hair is in shape. Now let's move on to eyeshadow. It's a warm tone palette from Wake Make. I'm gonna go for a very neutral brown color. I also had a lot of questions regarding my dating life, my relationship status. Are you seeing anyone? Are you still with? <laughs> As many of you may know, I was in a long distance relationship, but I have been single as of April of last year, but I think I was dating the most last summer. I don't know, but it's just not working out. Now we're gonna dip into this darker brown shade and line my lash line using the same color. Darken the depth in this area and this area. Another very common question was regarding my career path and my future plans after graduation. I will be graduating this year. I think I'm just still too curious about too many things, but I would try to focus on developing the skills that I already have and to what extent I can apply those skills to whatever position that I may have in the future. And we still have time, you know, like there's no rush. I also don't feel particularly attached to a singular career path, but I definitely want some kind of corporate experience. Just don't know what yet. Being able to be open-minded and being able to adapt to whatever changes that may occur in the future are going to be one of the most important qualities in the future job market. We're going in with a brownish red shade. We're gonna outline my under eyes here. What motivates you? That is a hard question. I think it's just general curiosity. How do you do self-care? I think journaling, especially now as an adult, I don't see anything more valuable than journaling in terms of how it's helped me grow and learn about myself. And in terms of physical self-care, I try to just add it into my morning and night routines. I think whatever it is that you do, whether it's just drinking tea or reading a book, if you add the intention of, oh, I'm doing something nice for myself. I think anything can become self-care. Start with the clear mascara first as the first coat. I'm gonna try focusing on elongation more so than volume. So I'm just gonna focus on the ends and not the roots. How do you manage your finances? The most important thing I would say is budgeting. How much you save is a lot more important than how much you make because of lifestyle inflation. I think the more money you make, the easier it is to spend that money. So for example, if you're making $500 a month and then you move on to making $5,000 a month, you're likely to be making small lifestyle upgrades in various parts of your life. And the little upgrades that you make really add up. I track all my expenses three to four times a month. I do this on a monthly and yearly basis and I try to save 40 to 50% of my income. So in summary, budgeting, bookkeeping, saving, just being responsible. Some powder. Now that my base makeup has been sitting for a while, how do I like modeling so far? I really like the experience of shooting, but then there's going to model fittings and castings and just waiting for the next job. It is not as glamorous as it looks. It's not like you can work if you want to work. You have to wait for them to contact you regarding my time management. How do you juggle uni, modeling, and YouTube content creation? One thing I do is doing a daily, weekly, and monthly 
can be your late to-do list. Being early with the things that you can be early with. Last semester, I think, was the busiest for me. I made sure to do first and second period class, and I only took four classes. I was going to a lot of events, and those were taking place in the evening or the afternoon. That's one way I manage my schedule. How to deal with anxiety. I'm very much of a routine person and having a routine gives me that sense of control and it gives me confidence. Just knowing that I can accomplish these tasks with minimal effort every day. So I have a morning and night routine, but for the rest of the day, I try to just go with the flow and just accept that not everything <laughs> can go my way. Then I also do experience sudden anxiety when I'm in a really crowded space. In that moment, I try to focus on my breathing and list five things that I can see or hear or touch. Also try to drink chamomile tea before I sleep every night, meditating, journaling. You know, I do everything that I can <laughs> to keep it in check, but sometimes it doesn't work out. Like we can just blame it on our brain chemistry and hormones and it's not our fault and that gives me a bit of peace of mind just knowing that it's not my fault i'm trying now we're doing highlight on my nose bridge i feel that this opens up my eyes a lot more also had a lot of questions on what book i'm reading book recommendations. I've been reading this book called Free Food for Millionaires by Yi Min Jin and the story takes place in New York City early 1900s. As a third culture kid myself, there were a lot of parts that I could relate to. It's about growing up post-graduation, the uncertainty and anxiety of growing up. I'm really bad at explaining books. Now let's move on to lips. This is my favorite lip balm. It's the Dior Beauty Lip Glow in the color pink. Most of the time, I just use this and I call it a day. <laughs> so I am studying political science and international relations and people asked, why did you choose that major or what motivated you to take it? Being the third culture kid that I am, I am interested in cultures and learning how the world works. Sounds very abstract, but that was just what I was interested in. And in high school, I was a very ambitious girl. And I kid you not, like I was genuinely thinking of like going into diplomacy and working in the UN, which is a dream that gets crushed as soon as you actually start learning policy. So that's also why I was considering law school in the beginning of my college years. Then I was like, I don't want to do that. And I tried YouTube and then I went into marketing and I was interested in consulting and business. And so that is why I chose my second major as international studies with a focus in international business. Let's do our last step in the makeup. I use this Hints Glow Balm. Warm it up on my finger like this. Place it from the center of my cheeks to my cheekbones. Questions regarding my YouTube. Do you edit your own videos? I do edit my own videos. I also think it plays a huge part in your personal brand. How long did it take you to reach 10K? I think my growth from zero to 10K was abnormally slow and it took me 13 months almost 14 months to hit 10k even when i was seeing no growth i was just doing it for fun and then a lot of questions regarding my diet how i stay in shape i really don't have a diet i just do intuitive eating so if i'm hungry i eat a lot if i'm not hungry i just don't eat a lot and i do love cooking so i guess that's healthier as for working out i just do it as like a habit. I love running for fun, but obviously we have different metabolisms. We have different diets and body types. So that is just me. Biggest pet peeve, when people invade my personal space. How to deal with friend breakups and relationship breakups. There is a saying in Korean, 오는 사람 맞지 말고 가는 사람 맞지 말라. Which means don't stop the people who want to leave your life and also don't stop the people who want to come into your life. With the exception of your close circle. But most people don't make it into that core group. So for that, I would just say, let it be. Detach. 
because you know you're just different people also i think timing is really important any tips for being confident you just have to be your own cheerleader and your own best friend acknowledging your accomplishments and your successes so i think we will end our video here it was really fun for me answering all these questions i hope you're all having a wonderful start to the year and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video Bye.